Let's go. How's it going, everybody? Playing some more Tree of Tranquility today. Hoping to switch things up a little bit today, just so I'm not going through the same part-time job routine over and over. I think I'll probably still do that, like, in-game today, but I don't want to keep doing it every single day. I want to try and mix things up a little bit, and since tomorrow's the 15th, new people should be coming to town, so that'll be exciting. I'm hoping it's the tailor. I don't know who it is right off the bat first, but hopefully it is the tailor. And I can get that rucksack upgrade going, and I'm going to be all set. Hopefully make a little bit of money today, enough to get the yarn maker and the dyeing pot, so I can start working on getting cocoons for my silkworm and dyeing them blue. And then I was looking something up about the fishing rod. It only takes 100 fish, like you have to catch 100 fish for it to level up, so I don't know if that's true or not. I would assume it is. I mean, maybe it just applies to getting from level 1 to 2, but I'm hoping it's from level 2 to 3 as well, because it's going to take 200 fish. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a while. But, I'm trying to think of where the next closest power berry would be. I guess it would be from fishing. Unless you get one from completing one of the next rainbows, which I don't really remember because it's been a while since I've played this. I like the main story. And I just failed right there. But I think... I think that one of the next two rainbows that I do will allow me to get another power berry. One that I can actually pick up. I'm not 100% certain. I'm, I'm hoping. I know you get one from the hose yet. Which I'm probably over 100 by now. I don't know why the Elgato always does that little black screen thing. But hopefully, that's the only time it happens. But... I also would like to buy another outfit. If I can afford it in time for summer and spring, because I can for sure buy a fall outfit. I usually go for one of the fall outfits. I think it's one of the striped ones. But, I know I'm saying about a lot. Um, I kind of want to build up Candace and Luna's friendship. They're going to be the people that come in with the tailor. Because I'm leaning towards Renee. Because I'd like to get married this year. Fall would be ideal, but I really don't think that's going to happen at this point. It's probably going to be a late winter wedding. Assuming I can get her hearts up that high. But I will try and get Luna and Candace's friendship up, just in case. I'd consider marrying one of them. As for Selena and Phoebe, who comes in quite a bit later on. Maybe, maybe, like, that's a very slim maybe, because, I don't know, she's, she's alright, but, Selena's just, meh, and Phoebe I like, a little bit, but I've never really tried building a friendship up before, because, when I've played this game mainly, I've always tried to get, like, the people who bachelorettes that are always here, like from the start, those are the ones I usually focus on. My very first time playing Tree of Tranquility, I was going for Maya, but with her request, I never gave her the eel, so I couldn't figure out why she wouldn't take the blue feather. And I was pretty young then, so I don't know if I couldn't read very well or just forgot about it, but because I kept always working at the Sunday Inn, for some reason, Kathy let me marry her, and I don't know if that's because I won the race with her, the horse race. I'm assuming that's why, because I think that might be what her request is, but I ended up marrying her. I kept trying to break out of it during the wedding, because Chase ended up marrying Maya. And yeah, that kind of sucked for me, so then I restarted, because I only had one rainbow on that profile anyways, so I restarted on a new save file, and then I 
I figured out what May wanted. I googled the, I googled how to get the eel, and things just worked out from there. So I'm pretty happy about that. I kind of want to try and get Kathy up to five hearts as soon as possible, just so I can do that little horse race. Because I haven't unlocked it yet for this console. On my other Wii, I did, but since I'm playing on the Wii U to record it, because the um, regular Wii has the red, white, and yellow cables. Something that the Elgato doesn't connect to, so I have to use the Wii U. But on that one, I unlocked the horse race. On this one, I haven't. I think the only um, mini game I've unlocked in this one is the stone skipping one. I'm pretty sure there's one where you hit a moles as well, but I don't know how you unlock that one. So like I said, this is probably going to be the only day I work at Brownie Ranch. Maybe I'll work one other day, but I kind of want to focus on other things today. Because we're getting closer to the fall season, I want to get some of my tools going. I like to uh, iron and copper. Although with the silkworms, I might just consider buying the tools from the general store. At least the iron. We'll see about the rest. I mean, fishing rod, I would consider buying all the upgrades just because how many fish I'm going to have to catch for the power berry. And uh, I want to buy, try and buy another plot of land pretty quick. Hopefully by the end of this month in game. Just so I can keep working on the hose. Like getting all the tiles cleared. As for the hammer and axe, hammer is probably going to stay at level 3 throughout the entire playthrough. Axe will probably go up to level 3, but I don't see any of my tools besides sickle and water and cannon, maybe the hole, getting up to level 4. But it would be cool if I can see what level 5 is. From what I've read on game facts, like uh, people talking about leveling your tools, apparently it takes over a year to get to level 5 tools, like from level 4, so that's going to be probably quite a bit of work. Although, if you have a level 4 tools, it probably wouldn't take much work. At least for the hull, because you can just buy all the plots of land and then just keep going every day. Then with the watering can, just water over everything that you hit with the hull. I'm going to try and um, be continuous with commentary. I don't know if people prefer that versus me just going quiet at times. So it's going to be something new for today, but... I don't know, maybe I'll continue it. Because I gotta try something. I know my Chief Tranquility videos seem to get the most views, so if people like me talking, then I'll uh, just keep on yavering. I'll hopefully try and make this as entertaining as possible. I know talking about tools probably isn't the most entertaining, but maybe it is for some people. And my plan is if I do buy more plots of land, I kinda wanna get all colorful, like get all my all different all different sorts of crops going, planting apple trees and grape trees, because I was thinking about doing a 100% playthrough of this, just because it's Harvest Moon, I know a lot of people play Harvest Moon and Animal Crossing for their anxiety and stuff, so if people want to watch me do that, I know it'll be probably a lot more colorful and exciting later on, so I plant more stuff, and have more animals and whatnot going, and I'm kind of behind in terms of probably where other people would be, this one, why can't I feed him? Okay, I guess it's because he's sleeping, but I'm kind of behind in terms of where probably other people would be by this point, but it's probably because I'm mostly fo focusing on Renee versus just doing daily routines like going mining, buying more crops and whatnot. I'm kind of, I don't want to say wasting time, but I guess just using it another way, whereas I know quite a few other people just mainly focusing on the mining, daily mining. All that sort of stuff. Well, that was quite a bit. Okay, so tailor shop's open. That's good. I can expand my rucksack. Let's go. But once I get Renee up to the eight hearts, I looked it up yesterday. It is eight hearts, or six hearts if you have the blue feather event happen. But thing is, May is at six hearts. But the next time I talk to her, she's going to do the uh, confession. 
and I really don't want that because I'm going for an A, so I'm not sure how to raise her up to the eight hearts. The only way I can really think of is doing part-time work, which there, there. at this point it's just a lot of routine. I don't want to keep boring you guys by doing part-time work over and over again for the same people. I mean, if I switch it up between like doing new places like Selfo Farm or the um, Blacksmith, if I do that once, like a different place every video, maybe that's fine, but I kind of want to focus more on mining and progressing through the story, which there's not much I can do right now until fall, because I think I have all the ingredients that I can get for the other recipes currently. I could get some red flowers going, but actually, I don't know where I would get the red flowers from. There might be some on the, um, what is it called? Tucanon Island? I can't, I can't remember what it's called. It's the one that you unlock from the waves clearing up, which I'm guessing that's from the second rainbow. I could have sworn it was from the first, but Pascal never sent anything to me. I thought he sent you a letter, but maybe not. But well, what else was I gonna say? And I'm hoping to unlock that seed guy soon. I would assume he's probably one of the next people I unlock. He sells these seeds. I think you can call him as well. But I have a feeling it's gonna be Chase. And I really don't want it to be Chase, because I'd rather have the seat guy. But it is what it is, you know? And thankfully, from all the treasure hunting stuff, you get rewards. Like, the things you get from the presents will help you with the rainbow, the rainbows, and the future rucksack, the journey rucksack, which you get for the new game plus. That's quite a bit of ways yet, so why do I keep getting letters late? Candace. So those are the ones I'm gonna try and work on. I think it's Candace. She likes herbs. So I'm gonna try and give her those. Let's drop my controller. That would have been bad. Um, <laughs> I think I'll start commentating on my Skyward Sword as well. Next video. Just to, um, maybe entertain more, a bit more, while I'm not in the actual temples. This last video with the gratitude crystals, I probably could have talked over, made it a bit more entertaining rather than just me running around all over and killing that little cat thing. But we'll see. I don't want to buy any more seeds from Sofa Farm, at least. Not quite yet. Maybe in a few days. I just want to know where my money's going to be at. Because I want to try and have money for the flea market. Because I would really, really like to have the uh, large fridge. Because I'm running out of room in my toolbox from storing all my fruit and stuff. And then I'm going to need to get one of my tools up to iron and copper. Just because I don't want to have like an abundance of ores just sitting in my toolbox. I'm not sure what the real, rare metal is for. I think that might be for the journey rucksack. I'm not 100% sure. What the heck? <laughs> that cow is blocking me. So, that gave her 8 points. This will give her 2, and then that the cap. And then the tailor shop. I don't know if it's open today, so we're going to go check that out. And if they're not open, I'm going to do some part-time work at the general store. And we're just going to go from there. You know? See how things are going. I can't remember if you unlock any new people from completing the second rainbow. It might be first and second. I'm not sure. What else was I going to say? Uh, 
In terms of building up friendship with everyone else on the island, like, I'm still quite a ways away from the 150 hearts, even if I was going to complete all the rainbows by next month, which I very well probably could do. I, uh... What was I going to say? I keep forgetting what I'm going to say. If I complete all the rainbows by next month. Um, I can't remember. But I completed all the rainbows by next month. It's kind of a goal. I mean, that way I don't have to focus on rainbows anymore. Although the last rainbow is probably going to be a little bit of a pain. But since I'm getting all the ingredients earlier on, it shouldn't be as bad just getting that one fish from the goddess pond. That's going to be the only tricky part. she already gave me this request. Maybe not. I guess she was only at uh, five hearts then. Okay, so... I guess I can talk to her. Just gotta get her that eel, perhaps, at some point. Oh, come on, they're closed. So that is Candace, one of the uh, bachelorettes. I think if I had to pick between her and Luna, who you'll meet tomorrow when I go in there, I think I would pick, yes, a pricey for the yarn maker, but it's no big deal. I think I would probably go with Luna. Well, but Candace has that, like, shy factor, which is interesting. And I just clicked that there just to make sure that I didn't need a barn to get it. Which doesn't seem like I do, so... That's gonna be the next big expense. And then a level 3 house. Maybe barn. We'll see. Because I can't remember what type of animal I need to get 10 hearts to get the power berry for. Maybe it can be a coop animal. I don't really know. That should build up their friendship very slightly. I was reading on GameFAQ somewhere that someone got Anissa's hearts all the way up to 10 from just working part-time at Soulful Farm in spring. I don't know if I believe that. That seems a little impossible, especially, well, I, feel, I think they open at 7, they work till 5, so what is that, like 10 hours? So that's only 10 points a day, so... If it takes 100 points, and there's 30, is there 30 days a month in this game? I honestly can't remember. I'm bad at this stuff. But then that would only be 3 hearts a month, so maybe they're giving gifts as well? I don't know. If you guys know, I'm just going to be. Rainbow Trout, okay. I'm trying to get an yell for Maya right now, but if you guys know how many points are required for each heart, let me know, because I think it's 100, but maybe it's more than that. It seems like 100 would be about right, but 
You never know. You know animals level up their hearts very, 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 very slowly, so that is not going to be fun trying to level them up. I'd say at the earliest, we're getting 10 hearts for an animal. Assuming I buy the barn by the end of this month, it's probably going to be late spring, mid to late summer, I would say, for the 10 hearts. I get a cow or horse. Let's, Let's go. go. Alright. Now today's plan is just going to the tailor shop. And uh, I don't know. Maybe something else. I'm assuming something else, of course. But I don't know what that is yet. So we're gonna just have to see. Got that little sucker. Oh, I got some watermelons growing. Nice. But yeah, one of the reasons that I kind of want to fill up, I guess it's my garden is I saw a video quite a, few, quite a few years back and their garden, like this area was just full of like everything and I thought it looked so cool. So I'm gonna go for that, try and fill up this whole area with crops and uh, flowers. I don't know if they sell for very much but I'm gonna try and do that too. And sell a whole bunch of eggplants. And then just... See where that takes me. I don't know if I necessarily want to do that to every plot of land that I buy, but... For a good amount. And... At least for this one. Maybe... Probably for the second one too. Assuming that's a smaller plot of land that I buy. We'll see. I don't think the flowers sell for very much in this game, which is unfortunate, but I believe they're good gifts for certain villagers, or residents, I guess you'd call them in this game. So I'll have to look that up more, and I think you can make perfume with them. So if I'm going for 100%, I'm going to need all the flowers, but I really wish there was a bigger toolbox. I, I, the only thing I could think of that I could put them in is a uh, fridge, which would be weird to put flowers in a fridge. So, we're just gonna have to see how things work. If I run out of space for stuff, or if I just have to start buying all the cooking utensils, and go from there. Because I don't think I have nearly enough crops for anything, like in terms of making food. Well, I could buy a lot. I don't know if it's required that I make everything. Not a whole lot of herbs around here the past few days. It's kind of weird. Oh, I haven't talked to this guy yet, huh? Who's that? A weasel. I've never seen a weasel in real life before. I wonder if they're that big. One thing I want to kind of do in this game is build up Ramsey and um, Dale's friendship. Just because I've never done that before. And maybe Myro's. Phoebe's, maybe, because I think you can get a. Actually. I was going to try and get the uh, school event at the town hall, but I think that uh, Chase and Manny, three need to be together for that. I cannot stop slurring my words today, my goodness. Not so used to talking so much. <clears throat> if I take Renee, then I think she and Toby would have to be together, so... I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that event this game unless you can do it. 
with uh, one less rival couple. We'll see. I'm not saying that for a lot of things, but yeah, we'll see. Just how things work. I did not know I could go there yet. I could have sworn it was after the second rainbow. I went past the Tommy. Although I guess it did give me that notification in the menu. Or like, when the day was over, so... I guess that's on me for telling me the waves have stopped being so rough. She still had three hearts, okay. Better give her this, just to get as close to 10 as I can. I don't know if that would be 10, I think it would be like, maybe 7 or 8. So, not quite where I want it to be, but, we'll, uh, we'll make do. Just hope that I'll have enough hearts for her by the Firefly Festival. I used to think Jin was a girl. Just because the hair's pulled back and tied up. I always thought she was a girl, or he was a girl. But I guess he's not. He's a dude. Selena. I don't know if I can go to Toucan and Island today. Or Toucan. Toucan. I don't know. I think the on the hook is closed. But I'll double check. Let's see if there's any herbs that I can get to Candace, but I guess not. Because I want to keep my blue herb so I can use it without the cocoon. So, that's Luna, and this is Shelly. I believe every time you talk to her, it raises her friendship up by like 50 points, so... It can be a easy little way to get some yarn I think she gives you. And here's the free rucksack upgrade, which gives you 5 additional slots. So, it's quite an improvement, I would say, at least for early game. Because I'm already running out of room like crazy. are for the next upgrade. Two good flax, two good wool, two good silk. Okay. That is... Um... Probably pretty easy. It's gonna be the 20 plus upgrades that are a little bit more difficult. We're gonna see, we're just gonna not really focus on the 20 upgrade right now. Once I get the barn, I'll start trying to focus on that a bit more, but I don't even think I can buy flax seeds yet. I don't even know where I get those from. I think it's from the guy you call on the phone. I can check my little guide I have over here quick. Kind of multitask while I do some part-time work for the tailor shop. 
then I'm just gonna check here. Let's see. So, you get them in the fall, the flax seeds, but you need to have the tailor unlocked, the tailor, the, the person named Taylor unlocked. I don't know which guest he is though, like in terms of what order everyone comes, because I think Chase is next. So if Taylor isn't on the 15th, we're going to have a little problem. Because I can't get my flax seeds until next year at the earliest. I wanted to do the rainbow a little bit sooner. Oh, I'm trying to because... I would really like to have the next ruck up rucksack upgrade by this year, but... I can't. Hey. Fishing is not exactly working out. The grass the greatest today. I'm actually a little upset about that stupid flax seed thing. The fact that you need Taylor to get flax. Those aren't very good. Oh my goodness. Uh, either the power berry or the next rucksack upgrade would be great, but I really have to wait until fall to progress with anything, story wise. That's what really sucks. I just. I can't really do anything. Like, I can't upgrade my rucksack again. Because I don't have Taylor. I can go for the barn. Let's but... go. Uh, that's... I'm actually genuinely, genuinely upset about this. But I cannot get flax seeds this year. That really stinks. So, unless I can buy them from somewhere, I, I, I if I can buy the flax yarn from somebody, maybe the flea market, then that would be good, but I don't know if I can. I don't think so. I think you can only buy one of the types of yarn. Might be wool yarn. So that kind of stinks. Two more watermelon. I'm not sure these are the ones that sell for quite a bit that I made a little bit of money off yesterday. Watering. I think I might try and shorten. The video length's a little bit longer. I mean, that doesn't make sense. I'm gonna try and shorten them, not a little bit longer. Just because, like, they're going on like 40 minutes and whatnot. And I think 
people who aren't really super interested in these series would probably want them shorter. Maybe to get into the series in the first place, so. This will probably be one of the last longer ones I do. In terms of 40 minutes, I'll probably still be in the 30 minute range just to even get things done. At least on video. And this guy should be giving me a cocoon pretty quick. Guess not today. But I am enjoying playing this game. I mean, I was kind of like feeling dead about the game, but I am starting to get into it again. Like, I used to really like this game. I used to play it every day during the summer when I was younger. And I'm starting to get into that again. I really like doing videos every day. It's entertaining. It's for me. Why there's no orange herbs here anymore? I'm gonna need to start doing a bit more fishing if I want to get that power berry anytime soon. So I probably still have like 80 fish or so to go. I'm not the biggest fan of fishing, so that kind of uh, stinks. I said I wasn't going to buy any seeds, but... Pansy seeds. Pink flowers, yellow flowers. I don't know what the difference is with fertilizer. I'm going to have to look at that sometime. I was going to buy a seedling, but there's no way I can afford one of these and the yarn maker. So, that's going to have to be for another day. There's a yellow herb up here. Just to get these hearts going up a little bit faster. Since I'm not doing the work, part time work anymore. Uh, that's not good. Okay. I really hope that I don't need her four hearts for that Firefly Festival because that's uh, coming up pretty quick. I really would like to take her as opposed to me. I can't even talk to Maya, actually. Just if I talk to her again. Well, was she at six hearts? Because if she's at six hearts, I can't talk to her. I can't even give her the eel. But I guess it doesn't matter. I'm not really focusing on her. I just like to build her hearts up faster. Which, at this rate, does not seem like it's gonna happen. Stuff to Renee. Okay, she's in the coop now. That's gonna take a little bit longer just because of these hour long loading screens, but it's no big deal. There's Kathy. Hey, you said that yesterday. Why'd you keep repeating yourself? This junk drain, eh? There we go. Okay, so it looks like Maya is at six hearts, so I cannot talk to her again. At least until I get Renee up to six hearts and talk to her. Um, just quickly looking over at the rainbow recipes again. Looks like Ben is going to be next. And probably... I want to say Colin after.
should be fairly simple, I'm hoping. Blue Wonderful should be easy. Perfect Spinach should be easy. Sorry should be easy. Banana is really easy. And Red Bull Yarn is also easy. And then Alan's recipe. Toadstool, Woodfish, Green Bell, Austinase, and Carrot Cake. Green Bell, Austinase, and Carrot Cake will be easy. Toadstool will be easy. Woodfish is going to be the only thing that's difficult. And then Edge will probably... be easy because I have the lapis lazuli she want to give Candace her gift quick where is she I can talk to you too um, snowflake flower I can buy that at the flea market red honey I don't know what I'm going to do with about the red honey. And I don't know if I bought perfect honey to get, so I'm going to need to do that. Yeah, it looks like these recipes are going to be pretty easy as soon as I complete them. Um, Okay, all this stuff should sell for a nice little amount, I'm hoping. I like the music here. Uh, what is that? Black girl? A dog? What is this one called? That's a big dog. Hi. Uh, I don't know what the black pearl is for, so I might keep that one. I think I can sell the regular pearls. So it's shining, so I should probably keep anything that shines in this game. And in terms of getting a pet, those take forever, so I don't know if I'm going to be doing that or not. 
I mean, I'd kind of like to, but oh, we'll just have to see. Because that takes a lot of effort. At least getting it up to, I think, like six hearts. I don't have room in my rucksack. But I need this banana for the recipe. Um, what else was I going to say? Probably going to maybe possibly try and go for that small dog on the beach in Waffle Island. We're going to have to see how things go. But hopefully I can get him. I guess I ever got one of those dogs friendship up to was four hearts. And that took me forever. But I guess I probably wasn't giving up the right items to raise friendship faster, so... I don't know. I don't know what's all gonna happen with that. I also kinda wanna keep these coconuts and pineapples for cooking, but... Probably not gonna have any room anywhere. That's a... Oh, panda. Pandas made that sound. It's kind of weird. Right. Um, looks like that's everything. Hoping this sells for a little bit of money. Because if I can get that first cocoon tomorrow. I can make quick 2,000 gold, and uh, things are going to be smooth sailing from there. Let's buy another silkworm, get some blue herbs going, and uh, yeah, things should be all good. Because I might be able to buy some blue herbs from the flea market. That would be very nice. Probably going to be ending the video off here because I'm about to go on 15 minutes and that's going to take forever for YouTube to upload. Uh, where's Selena? I need to talk to her. Uh, she's usually over here, isn't she? Sunday in. Talk to Maya. I can't talk to Kathy. Okay. Let's see where Selena is. Huh, she's not even in one heart yet. Oh, there she was. Right. Let's go see where she is. Awful Town. Where? So she's either on the beach or on the docks. I don't think I've ever seen her on the docks before. Although I've never looked. Yeah. There she is. When they do that little hard thing, it means that they're leveling up. So, and just okay. So she did go up in friendship. That's cool. So her hearts went up a little bit. The one, which is better than nothing. And I think I'm gonna end this video off here in just a little bit. Um, probably be doing regular uploads of this game for a little bit. 
and maybe go to three or four a week or so. And Twilight Princess, which is not going to be fun to finish, because the fun part of the game is on hiatus until I complete Roll Go, which is not fun at all. Um, I'll plant these quick. Uh, I don't think I have an axe. Okay, that kind of sucks. Um, probably plant one here, because this is already watered. There we go. So that's one set. And the other seeds can go right here. And just water these guys quick. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the video here. Just water these and I um, want to thank you guys all for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day. And thank you.